Now, Postman Pat or Postal Worker Pat? Oh, Lord. Microsoft has now launched a new tool to help you figure out potentially offensive words. Is this a good thing, Judy? Do you know what? Look, I suppose being PC, there's always, there's always a good thing when you're trying to be politically correct and understanding other people's, you know, diversity or things that they've been through. But there's a difference between just giving people what they're supposed to say and actually educating them. My worry is you'll have this whatever it is on the computer system, people will type it, it will come up, oh, this is not right, this is not PC, and just follow a word. It's like now, if you, when you use texting, because it auto-writes your word, you don't even know how to spell it too tough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's always there for you. It's about education. It's about letting people understand why it's not the right word to say or why it's offensive. And, and I think that's what I'm more on than necessarily just something helping you to write a word and then they might write it right, but in the same sense, if they're in front of you or what they say about you behind your back, is the computer's not going to yeah. be there I mean, to we, change we, their mind. We should point out, you can, you can sort of switch this off, but it would do things like it would change maid to house cleaner, for example. It would change showgirl to performing artist or manpower to workforce. I mean, there's wow, I some know points where I feel bad. it would be quite helpful, but Postman Pat's a fictional figure, isn't he? Yeah, and I think also Mrs Thatcher would become Ms Thatcher, which is ridiculous because part of her brand was Mrs Thatcher and that's not a title that she found demeaning. Mm. I'm really worried that this is going to go to ludicrous lengths. Like, take the word fat. As I say it, I know that people out there, I will attract abuse and, you know, negative comment for just saying the F word. But I grew up reading a book that really, you know, was called Fatty Puffs and Thinifers. And the world, you know, it's a child's picture book. And there were big chubby people uh, who lived in four poster, had four poster beds and ate loads and loads. And there were thin, mis miserable people who got tipped out of really narrow, planky bunks. Mm. And that was just a most wonderful world. Now, are we saying that children's books like that can't, they've all got to be rewritten. I mean, we saw with one of David Williams' books recently, a character called David Wong was removed because people said it was a um, racial stereotype. And I just think this cleansing of the language is going to go too far. And it, it, you do sort of wonder, if we sort of airbrush history, you, you have no sort of context for how far we've come. What, what do you think, Brenda? I mean, you know, I'm... Like you said, this can be turned off. So if somebody wants to say something and be, you know, either racially abusive or just pick on somebody for how they look, then they can still do it. So it is, you know, I've I've had um, certain instances in the past where I had an, an ex when I first got together with with an ex, and we were having a conversation, and you know, he literally just came out and says, well, you know, as a coloured woman, and I was like, okay, this is where we're going to stop and, and start first uh, first and foremost. This is not what I'm called, and you know, and as Judy says, you have to explain where you're coming from with that. And I don't think that you'll be able to take out the intent of what somebody means by just a, a But that's a, sort of educate, but I presume he didn't mean it harm. He, didn't, yeah, he exactly. just didn't know there any different, any... so you educated yeah, him. Exactly. So yeah. I think that, you know, we need to... Instead of allowing a computer to make all these choices and, and apps to make all these choices, we need to just take it back to how it used to be, I say, back in my day, where you we just explain your... Yeah, we about just not talk... being lazy and not using electronic yeah, stuff it's... to do, to have the hard conversation. Let's be real about it. Using these electronic stuff to have the hard conversation about things like being homophobic, racial tension, being racist, when mm. actually it's a conversation that's needed between people like we said it's about the intent behind it because Absolutely. yes we don't want to erase the history that so that we can see what we've learned but a lot of that history wasn't for all of us and was and and has affected us till today for many of us it's affected us till this day now and and you know the implications of stereotypes segregation and hate mm. 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 very interesting